I'm going to start, if I may, by asking you whether you think we have a, a sort of national resistance to the idea of picture books for older children. Do we think that children grow out of images? What's your experience? Marcia, tell us a bit. I, I definitely think that we have this feeling. And, um, I mean, no, nobody, we all know, nobody grows out of picture books. But I think that um, maybe because of the way we're taught to read... Um, and you start with picture books, and then the goal is to get to the chapter book without any pictures at all, and I think that propagates it. And I also think perhaps we value the word more than the visual image in this country, um, which is a great shame. Yes, and you find teachers saying, uh, you know, you're too old for that. Uh, exactly, yes. exactly. And now that you can read. Yes. yes. Is that your yes. experience, Anthony? Yes, um, I, I've talked to well, quite a few illustrators about this subject and we all say we've heard parents saying to their children, oh, you don't want a book like that, come and get a proper book, mm. meaning a book without yes. pictures. Uh, and, and I think that's a terrible shame. And uh, I, it, I, I'm no expert on, on teaching people how to read, but I certainly think that the enjoyment of reading is, is at least as important as the actual mechanics of reading. Mm. And I think the uh, big books with pictures, particularly... Well, for all ages, of course, are incredibly enjoyable. There's, they're, they're like nothing else, uh, and uh, I, th I think that maybe the the, uh, the popularity of graphic novels now is maybe a, a cry for a return to, or, or maybe uh, they're read by people who are dragged away from picture books too early. Yes. I, d I don't think it's any coincidence that as children are are pushed away from children's books, uh, picture books, they're um, they stop drawing. It's around about the same time. All children can draw, all children can make up stories, but ask a, an adult, can you draw? And they say no. Can you make up a story? No. All children can, up until a certain age, of course. Do you think we need a sort of re-education of people? What do, I mean, how can you persuade, apart from doing what you do, all three of you, which is to make wonderful books with illustrations that are of interest not only to older children, but in fact to adults, uh, what else, what can you do? How can you persuade people that this is a, a mistake? <laughs> to encourage looking. I think that's one of the things we don't value. We don't value looking. We talk about looking as being a kind of superficial thing. Mm. You know, you can't judge a book by its cover fair enough. But you can learn an awful lot by looking. And although it's said we live in a, children grow up in a visual age, it's an, it's an age of uh, fast-moving images. Um, DVDs, computer games, films, television don't really have time to, to actually look at, at a picture in a book or indeed you can see people in museums walking very quickly past the painting and looking at the, the caption. I don't think we value vi visual literacy, no. yes. um, which is a huge shame. And I was saying to you earlier that I found this, this yes. quote from The Little Prince, which um, I wanted to read, because it just shows you that this has been going on for years. And even now, when we you know, constantly have visual images that we need to interpret, we need to learn how to interpret them, mm. um, it's not being done. So can I read this? Yes, yes. 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 Um, this is This is from The Little Prince, and, um, which was actually published in 1945, so it's a long time ago. Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture in a book called True Stories from Nature about the primeval forest. It was a picture of a boa constrictor in the act of swallowing an animal. Here is a copy of the drawing. In the book it said, boa constrictors swallow their prey whole without chewing it. After that, they're not able to move and they sleep through the six months that they need for digestion. I ponder deeply then over the adventures of the jungle and after some work with a colored pencil, I succeeded in making my first drawing. My drawing number one looked like this. I showed my masterpiece to the grown-ups and asked them whether the drawing frightened them. But they answered, frightened? Why should anybody be frightened of a hat? <laughs> my drawing was not a picture of a hat. It was a picture of a boa constrictor digesting an elephant. But since the grown-ups were not able to understand it, I made another drawing. I drew the inside of a boa constrictor so that the grown-ups could see it clearly. They always need to have things explained. My drawing number two looked like this. 
The grown-up's response this time was to advise me to lay aside my drawings of boa constrictors, whether from the inside or the outside, and devote myself instead to geography, history, arithmetic, and grammar. <laughs> and I just think that's how things are still. Yes. You know? Especially with so many exams and constant testing and... Yeah. 